How's it going, everybody? It's Mr. King Coaster here with thecoasterkings.com. We are at Universal Studios Hollywood today to check out a park update. Stay tuned. As you all know, Universal Studios Hollywood has three new projects that they're currently working on that are under construction. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. One of these projects will be released this summer. Jurassic World. You can see the building is completely painted on this side. First turnaround is still being enclosed and that'll be the show building for the first scene of the attraction. Second project, which is the rumored Super Nintendo World that was announced to be coming to all Universal Parks. Currently, it's a little bit of dirt on the site. Nothing too much has changed uh, in the past weeks. Uh, they did add the construction walls though around the perimeter and move the dirt towards more of the center. Uh, so just more clearing of the land. This is actually the third project that is underway. This uh, is the rumored Secret Life of Pets attraction. And they moved pretty substantially. Uh, its progress is moving along. You can see the steel beams there on uh, the diagonal reinforcements are already on the building and the facades already look as if though it'll be portrayed as the city in Secret Life Effect. So I'm excited to see how fast this project actually goes uh, and is completed. At the moment, there is still no projected opening date for this attraction, but we are more than likely sure this will open this summer with the new Jurassic World project. Well, this side of Westminster, of course, is still closed for the construction of the new rumored Secret Life of Pets project. This side, you can still access the restrooms right outside of the Irish pub. I'm not sure why I'm going to go do this, but I think it's time for me to go check out The Walking Dead. Okay, so over at the Universal Plaza, it is currently closed just for the Lunar New Year celebration. So you can actually see the setup for where they're going to house uh, the character meet and greets as well as Mr. Pink's Noodle Shop that's returning again. These are cool. These glow hawk things are um, really, really cool. Looks <laughs> like some new merch out here. Cool. I'm taking a break because the park is actually semi-packed today. <laughs> so what a better way to do that than right in the Wizarding World to cast some spells. I mean, views don't get better than this. There we go. Never truly get tired of this view. Ever. <laughs> this side of the building is almost all completely painted. Not too bad. Still working on paint for the middle section there. You can see the middle of the building is actually being tested to be blue. Uh oh. Ladies and gentlemen, InGen welcomes you to the interactive dinosaur. The water's bag, and if you look back there, you can actually see one of the boats. Uh, it's a little hard to see from this angle, but it's actually gray, uh, which goes towards the color scheme of the grass cloud. So, so I'm curious, what do you guys think? Do you feel they are going to replace the entire Jurassic Park entranceway right here and change the entire sign or do you feel like they're going to paint it and repurpose it and just paste up Jurassic World? I honestly feel the latter to be honest. <laughs> but I think uh, with the new color scheme that they're doing it will look amazing. There are construction walls all the way um, down towards Panda Express in preparation for Jurassic World which will premiere this Summer. Thank you all so much for watching this update at Universal Studios Hollywood. If you liked it, be sure to like it and subscribe if you would like to subscribe. Until next time, Coaster Royalty.